I'm defending this huge arctic castle from you guys raiding it. Our job is to defend this team banner for one hour, but if the raiders can destroy it in time, they win 10,000 blue steel. The battle starts now. I'm gonna need everyone to fight for their lives. Are you guys with me? I'll take that awkward silence as a yes. After that inspiring speech, we prepared to ready up our first line of defense against the raiders, the ballistas. We started firing shots off at a few of the raiders at the base of the mountain to slow them down. But eventually they made it to the gate anyway, and for some reason they could just open it and walk inside. Since the gate wasn't placed while in the clan, it could be opened by anyone in the server. My teammate Winston managed to quiet down the rampage for now, but that wasn't gonna be the last thing to go wrong during this challenge. By the way, you might be wondering why the screen's gone white here. Well, this was our second defense. The snowstorms take one health away every second, which means the enemy will be weakened even before we have to swing our swords. Since everyone on my team had the survivalist perk, it wasn't a problem for us. But even with that advantage, the raiders were still making progress. Yo, people are trying to ladder up. What? They built a bridge up here. Yo, are they in the base right now? This castle was huge, and we only had five defenders, so it was difficult to keep track of where the raiders' location was. The snow wasn't helping with that either. We decided to split up and search for them. Wait, you found the raiders? All right, we're coming. But those weren't the only raiders inside the castle walls. They managed to get way further in than any of us had expected. Another advantage we had was that the raiders weren't organized, so we could pick them off easier. We managed to fight back against the raiders, and we even took back control of the upper part of the castle, which would be crucial for victory. Thankfully, our last line of defense saved us. You might be wondering what this mess is. Well, it's the parkour section that the raiders will have to climb up to be able to get to the banner, and it's the only thing keeping us from losing. While we were fighting back from the brink of death, Winston was doing this. Well, at least those penguins aren't a threat anymore. The raiders were building multiple bridges up to the castle, so we had to fight back. We couldn't allow them easy access to our base like that. We had to keep control of the castle, otherwise they were going to be able to get to the banner way easier. I sent Winston down to go destroy one of the staircases. If he could destroy the bottom part, then the whole thing would fall. Unfortunately, the raiders can build them faster than we can destroy them, as it was extremely dangerous for us to leave the castle. And in the end, Winston wasn't even able to get rid of the bridge. We just had our first death and we got nothing out of it. We still had 40 minutes to go and it wasn't looking good for us. If we couldn't take back some control, we were gonna lose the challenge. We were doing everything we could to keep the raiders back. I really didn't want to have to give away 10,000 blue steel, so I had to make sure we were gonna win. We managed to keep control of the upper castle for now, but the bridges just kept getting higher. Soon they'd reach the roof, and if that happened, we'd really be screwed. Since Winston's spawn wasn't set in the throne room, he had to spawn far away from the Arctic. If he wanted to get back into the fight, then he'd have to climb all the way up to the armory and get his blue steel gear back. I set my spawn point in the throne room to make sure that wouldn't happen to me. Yo, he actually managed to do it. Oh, well, that was short-lived. The good thing is that when he spawned back, he was close to the bridge from earlier, and this time he made sure it got destroyed. This was a huge victory that we needed. This victory was short-lived, though. As I said before, they could build bridges faster than we could destroy them. They managed to get back up, and this time they finally made it to the roof. This was where the real battle would start. The entire course of the battle could be decided by what happens here. Oh my god, there are so many of them! Oh my god! It was my first death of the event, and it hurt. Now the raiders could set their spawn at the upper castle. This was really bad for us. Now it was so much easier for the raiders to get to the banner. If we didn't do something soon, the raiders would break the banner, and I'd have to give away 10,000 blue steel. When I spawned back, I wasn't so lucky.
What? This is where I found out that when you spawn in, assets don't load in immediately, which means that setting my spawn in the throne room didn't even help since I fall to the bomb anyway. At this point, we have to break into our own castle to get our gear back. This was a huge oversight on my part. Some of my team managed to break back into the armory and get their gear back, but there were too many raiders and they didn't manage to get away. When I spawned back in, I was surrounded by raiders and it wasn't long until they hunted me down and killed me. It was looking really bad for us now, but if I could get my armor back, we might still have a chance of winning. If we could just hold them off for 30 minutes, we could win. I managed to get my stuff back, but it wasn't all good because we still didn't have control of the throne room. There were too many of them, so I had to run. Bro, this is embarrassing. I literally had to run away from my own throne. This was the most important room, and we just lost control of it. If we wanted any chance of winning, we had to take it back. They already raided the armory, so from now on, we have to make our own armor. Now the only thing protecting the banner was four walls around it. Once those are destroyed, our loss is certain. We still had another 25 minutes to go. It was looking like the raiders were gonna win, but I wasn't about to give up that easily. I made my way to the roof, killing anyone in my way. I even managed to kill the guy who stole a lot of the loot and gained back 134 blue steel bars in the process. But even with all our efforts, we were still simply outmatched. I defended the parkour section with my life. But in the end, it was futile. The raiders managed to destroy the flooring under the banner, since the hitboxes on the swords are pretty weird. But this meant that the banner got destroyed too. Another oversight by me, but this time it cost us everything. That was the end of the challenge. No more chances. We lost. Winston still hadn't gotten the message. Here's a before and after of the base. We may have lost this time, and it did suck, but it made me happy to give you guys a bunch of blue steel. Shout out to MD Killer for giving 5k blue steel out on his own. I also need to give a massive shout out to the SGB Hub Discord for building this castle for me. This event wouldn't have been possible without them. And if you guys want to join events like this in the future, then make sure to join my Discord. Both our Discord links are in the description. Now watch my last video where we put the craziest teams against each other to see who would win.